Okay, so um, I wasn't planning on making a video today uh, because nothing particularly special happened this week. But then at the last minute I decided to. Actually, I decided last night that I would do it first thing in the morning. Um, so right now it's about 7.30 in the morning Japan time. Uh, I finished my first week of work, which consisted mainly of doing nothing except sitting at a desk. Uh, in some cases I ended up not having to do anything or I went home early. Uh, one day I didn't even go to work because I ended up going to an English seminar instead. Um, so yeah, I mean it's, it's going to be different next week because that's when I actually have to start planning lessons and stuff like that. But for the first week didn't really do much. Uh, but that's not why I'm making this video. Uh, the reason I decided to make a video today was because yesterday, you know, I was just having a nice Friday night, um, you know, just resting from doing nothing, um, and, you know, just watching TV. I was watching a movie, and, uh, it was about 11-something, and, um, I, I got up to go throw something away, and it was actually, uh, the way they organize trash in Japan, uh, they usually organize it burnable trash, which is paper and that kind of thing, and then non-burnable trash, which is plastic, that kind of thing, and then they have um, pet bottles, which are the plastic bottles, uh, then they have steel, like as in the steel cans, and then they have aluminum cans, and it's ridiculous, but, I mean, that's just the way they do things. But, um, I was going to my trash can where I throw away paper and stuff like that, and I was actually, I actually had plastic, but for some reason I ended up walking towards the burnable trash can. And, um, as I was walking towards it, I looked inside and I saw something big and black, like, skittering. And I'm thinking... What in the world is that? You know, did I really just see that? And, you know, I just stepped back and then I realized, oh, I have plastic in my hand. I need to throw this in the other uh, trash can. So I threw it away in the other trash can. I'm thinking, what in the world just happened? You know, what what in the world is that? I, I just cleaned this apartment really, really well. And, you know, I just kind of sat there thinking, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, what just happened? Um... And, uh, you know, I look at the clock, I realize, um, you know, it's, it's pretty late. Uh, the entire week I usually slept about 9 or 10-ish, and uh, this time it was uh, close to 11. And so I'm just thinking, uh, okay, what do I do, what do I do? Maybe it'll go away, maybe it was just one, um, maybe it was just my imagination, because anyone that knows me knows that I absolutely hate bugs. Um, I hate little things that, that crawl around, um, crickets, uh, cockroaches, um, spiders, um, millipedes, caterpillars, uh, and right now it's cicada season, and I hate cicadas. I think they're really disgusting and loud and annoying. But yeah, I hate bugs. I absolutely hate bugs. So when I saw that, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what do I do? I never had this problem when I was in Tokyo in my dorm. I never had a single bug problem. And now I'm stuck in here, you know, out in the suburban slash rural area where there's a lot of bugs and where there's spider webs and, and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, what do I do? And... So, uh, a few minutes later, I'm, you know, I'm about to get ready to go to bed, and I look back again, and I check, and I see on the floor, um, about the same size I saw last time, this little, or I should say big, um, look, I guess it's a cockroach, um, you know, skittering across the floor, slowly, and then quickly, and then slowly again, and, uh, it was about... Had to have been about one and a half to two inches big. It, it was pretty big. Uh, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, uh, what am I going to do about this? Maybe it'll go away in the morning. Um, 
so yeah I just start kind of I don't go near the area because you know I'm I'm so freaked out by bugs and I don't even go near the area so I just start putting stuff away around here uh, uh, in the living room and uh, I just get ready to go to bed and it's really hard for me to sleep so I'm thinking what do I do what do I do what do I do is it gonna come in my room that kind of thing or you know what else is it gonna start crawling on is it gonna lay eggs somewhere or something like that just thinking about how in the world could this get any worse overnight you know while I'm doing nothing about it uh, you know are there any roach traps you know I'm sitting there with my cell phone I'm in bed with my cell phone because that's the only source of internet that I have right now I'm checking on my cell phone hmm you know on the internet you know what can I do about cockroaches in my apartment or cockroaches in Japan uh, common that kind of thing so uh, I I've read a few things about getting rid of them. Some people have said roach motels, but other people have said, well, those don't work because sometimes they end up crawling out without their legs and and whatnot. Um, some people have said that, that some baits are not good because they attract cockroaches and, you know, I want to keep them away. I definitely don't want to attract them because, you know, I only saw one. Um, or maybe it was two, I don't know. Hopefully it was one. Uh, so I, I don't want to attract more of them. Um, I don't want to kill them. Uh, I've heard that that killing them will spread their eggs around or something like that. Um, plus I don't like bug guts either. Uh, so I'm not smashing any bugs or anything. Uh, I'm not too keen on catching them. Uh, my usual method for getting rid of bugs is to vacuum them, but uh, I don't have the most powerful vacuum, and I don't have the biggest vacuum, and there's a chance that the roach could just end up crawling back out of the vacuum anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do, but hopefully, uh, hopefully this will just be a one or two time thing and not something I have to deal with every night and not something that gets worse um, as the days go on uh, I mean it is summertime so that's usually when the when the bugs are about hopefully I don't I don't have any winter problems because I, I do know that back at my house uh, in America in the winter the crickets would end up coming in um, and you know, bugs kind of prefer warmth to cold, so if it's cold outside and warm in my apartment, they might end up coming in my apartment, which is not good. So right now I'm just, I was comfortable here and now I'm feeling kind of not comfortable here. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out something because I can't go home. And I'm not going to go home because of a bug problem. Um, but I did start to question, can I really stay here for more than one year? Because, like I said, if you know me, you know that I absolutely hate bugs. I hate bugs like... Like... I can't even think of an analogy right now. That's how... that, that That's how distraught I am. Um, so yeah, I'll figure something out.